rolling. All right, so I've got this pine. We're setting up a swing, and I'm pretty high. If you can take a look at the tie-in point, it's a sketchy tie-in point. It's a pretty small limb up there, but uh, we've got it on that tie-in point. And so rather than just putting all my trust in that tie-in point, I'm going to go ahead and rope walk up this, but uh, give myself a backup with my lanyard. And um, I'll get part way up there and then I'll show you what would happen if, if the uh, tie-in point were to go away, where I would end up. So we'll just set it up to walk. If I get off the ground too much, I'll set up my rope walker with the Sokka tending from my lanyard. I'm going to take my lanyard, we'll put it around the tree, and we'll double it around the tree. And so it's kind of like if I was going up with spikes, but I'm not going up with spikes. So I'm going to attach this to, to the suspension points on my harness on both sides rather than on the D's. If my tie-in point does go away, I will end up suspended in my saddle, and if I were on my D's, that would be very uncomfortable. So, we'll get this set up right now, and start doing a little bit of walking. So, I just pull a little bit of slack in that, and I'm ready to basically walk up. Now, if I had spikes, it would be just like walking up with spikes, although to tell you the truth, this is a lot easier than walking with spikes. So if I got up here and all of a sudden my tie-in point were to give way, that's going to wrap around and choke onto the tree. This would be uncomfortable, so I'm just going to take that off for a minute. I'm going to take this off, take the socket off. Of course, these would still be on the rope. But the rope would be slack, obviously, if the tie-in point were to disappear. And so that's what I'm trying to simulate, is if the tie-in point disappeared. So when that tie-in point disappeared, and I've got my lanyard on my lower Ds and my suspension connection on my harness, then that tie-in point goes away. It basically drops me into the tree and the lanyard cinches around the tree and there's my climbing point. So I would be sitting here hugging the tree because I love the tree for just saving my life, but I don't like my tie-in point. So now, once my tie-in point's failed and I'm sitting here snuggled up to the tree, then I'm still gonna have my climbing line with me. I'm gonna have to take the hardware, I've got a quickie up there but I'm going to have to reorient that. What I would do is just take my climbing line, cinch it back around the tree, and drop down on my climbing line and take another look about how I'm going to get up the tree. But that's how it would work. It makes it really easy to climb the tree on a sketchy tie-in point in a tree where you can still just make a nice rope walking system. So you can go ahead and keep filming that, and I'll just kind of get myself reoriented and start heading back up the tree. Put my socket back on. Get a hold of my lanyard again, and off we go, just like walking up a ladder. Now, one thing I'd probably point out is my fingers are going to get pinched. If that tie-in point goes away, it's going to go away pretty quick. My fingers are probably going to get scraped, but if that's the least of my injuries, I'm a happy camper.
We've taken taken the slack out of it now, haven't we? Thank you. 